Who likes popcorn? I do. For most people, popcorn is great at the movies, on the couch, or even by a campfire. It's fun to eat and can come in so many flavors. You can take basic popcorn and cover it with powdered cheese, caramel, chocolate, butter, or salt. It's even great plain. Just the smell of popcorn can make your mouth water. Did you know that the kernels made to produce this wonderful treat can only come from one type of corn? It's true. It's called Z. maize everta, and much of it is grown right here in the USA. It's fun to put those kernels over heat and wait for that first popping sound. First, one will pop, then another, then another, and all of a sudden, it seems that every kernel in the pan is popping all at the same time. Of course, we know that that's not true. There will always be a few kernels that never pop, but the ones that do are amazing to watch. Have you ever thought about Christians that way? Just like corn, there are many varieties of people on the earth. We come from different colors and sizes, but we're all human. However, when we become a Christian by confession, repentance, and immersion, we become a new person. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. This new person may look like every other human being on the planet, but there's one important difference. We now have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Acts 2, 38. And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes us different, set apart. We have something inside of us that gives us strength, guidance, and gifts. We also have a deep faith in God and His Son, Jesus. So when the heat of life's difficult situations come our way, we can explode with energy, love, and trust. We'll pop into action. You'll find us helping our neighbors during a disaster, working at food pantries, halfway houses, and abuse shelters. We'll be in hospitals praying with the sick. We'll be at funerals and at the side of the grieving long after that death has occurred. We'll go out of our way to help the suffering and give hope to the hopeless by bringing them to Jesus. Yes, I think Christians are popcorn. When life gets tough, we explode and show the tender, soft insides of our spirits and our heart that have been washed white by the blood of the Lamb. Now, I know some of you out there, this will be the first kernel to pop. Your faith and your example are so inspiring to us, and others will follow you. They will pop too. But my sweet sisters, regardless of whether you're the first kernel to pop or the last, God can use you. Yes, Christians can pop, but we can also produce a wonderful aroma that we share with the world because we smell like Jesus. 2 Corinthians 2.15 For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. Christians are special. We are blessed. We can make a difference in the lives of others today with our kind deeds and service. But more importantly, we can make a difference in the lives of others for eternity by telling them about Jesus Christ. They need to hear the good news that Jesus can take us, a plain kernel of corn, and transform us into a kernel of corn that can explode for Him over and over again. So the next time you watch Popcorn Pop, remember just how special you are and how important you are to Jesus and to all of us. It's exciting to be a Christian and serve the Almighty God in good times and in difficult times. There's much we can do in the service of the Lord. So ladies, let's all get popping. Well, that's our lesson for today. I pray that I've said something that will strengthen your faith 
and allow you to walk more boldly with God. Ladies, never forget that God loves you, and so do I.